Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we are going to be playing a G-Max Toxicity team. Now it's been introduced in Series 3 of this format. It's something I've really wanted to play around with since its introduction into Sword and Shield. Uh, we can finally use it now. I don't feel like the team's quite there yet, but we're going to give it a go today and we'll polish it off by the end of the week and then have the rental code ready for you guys to try out yourselves. So the team consists of Melotic, the Incineroar, Toxicity, the Dragapult, Excadrill and Togekiss. So there we go, we'll jump into it. I've got a few obscure items on things like the safety goggles on the Togekiss. It just helps redirection pull in, um, helps get around sleep powder and things like that because Venusaur is a problem at the minute as well as things like Roserade that we featured last week on the channel. If you haven't seen that, would like to check that out. There's a rental team there for the Roserade team. I'll link it above now. Um, so that really helps out there. Dragapult kind of helps against the psychic threat. You've got Excadrill, which helps against the ground threat, the steel threat that Toxicity has. It's got a lot of real problems, Toxicity, to get going. So that's why I think the team's not quite there yet, I think. But rather than sit in front of a computer for the next two hours, changing things in and out, it's best just to dive headfirst in, test the team out, see where the discrepancies are, and then we can change things going forward. So we've got a first opponent, Spider, of the episode. So they are running a team of Blastoise, excellent, <laughs> Indeedy, Raichu, Incineroar, Venusaur and the Pelipper. So they do have Rain here with the Pelipper um, to support the Blastoise, lots of starter Pokemon for sure. Um, so you're probably looking at Blastoise with the Shell Smash, that's what I would imagine we'll probably see. Um, Toxicity has a little bit of a hard time against the Raichu for sure. Um, but it's not really threatened too hard outside of the Ndidi, which we can potentially deal with with Incineroar. Uh, although we probably don't want to be bringing Incineroar to this match, really, do we? Um, just because of the rain threat from the Blastoise and the Pelipper. But we need to make some decisions on Pokemon that we're going to bring. So we'll bring Toxicity, Dragapult, we'll bring Melotic, and I think we'll bring... Let's bring Excadrill. Excadrill gives us a nice option against things like the Incineroar, the Raichu. Uh, we've got the Sash there, so it gives us a little bit of a buffer as well. Um, this feels like a really awkward team to play against. Uh, it's got lots of setup there. It's got the automatic rain. You'd imagine there'll be weather ball on stuff. Um, Blastoise is going to be scary because it's probably going to be the, the Shell Smash variant. And we're probably going to see... Um, Follow me in DD. But what we could do here is just overdrive. Uh, because it is a double target type attack. So we'll get big damage onto the Blastoise before it can really do anything. Um, we are seeing the Psychic Seed on the Ndidi. It's an, a favorite item of mine from Ndidi. Um, I think we probably have to go for a Shadow Claw into the Ndidi. Um, and double into both with an overdrive. Um... So we can't G-Max this turn. Hopefully Tox can get through this turn. So we can potentially G-Max the next turn. That would be ideal. But I don't think we're going to be able to deny the, the Shell Smash, unfortunately. Um, but we'll see. So nice damage there with the, the Dragon Claw. Is the Overdrive going to be enough? There's some nice damage to that Blastoise though, doesn't it? And we get the Throat Spray Boost. So we're sitting in good shape for this next turn. And there's a the Shell Smash. <laughs> Is it White Herb as well? I bet it is. It's exactly, I ran, I was playing in the um, Extreme Speed singles tournament over the weekend. It was so much fun. You only got to use one Pokemon at a time, uh, but I played White Herb on it, and that was, uh, yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. Uh, okay, um, I don't know what we can do now. Hmm. Do we Phantom Force? Do we Phantom Force, or do we just Dragon Claw? Do we just Dragon Claw? The Ndd just to get rid of it, I think might be a good idea to try. Uh, I really want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. G, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for the Gigantic Max. We're gonna try and see if we can do it. Okay, we're gonna see the Ndd switch out. We're gonna see. It's gonna be the right juice. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, the Blastoise is gonna. Uh, 
Dynamax. Yeah, we probably would have been better off bringing the Melotic in here, but... Uh, Alright, well, at least we know it's not using Water Spout. And, the other plus is, however this ends up, we at least get to see G-Max Toxicity, which is probably one of the coolest G-Max Pokemon. There we go. Let's see if we can take an attack. <laughs> oh, why didn't we just use Max Ooze? Okay, well here's a Max Geyser. This is into a Tox. It's gonna be us done. Yeah, we're not taking that. Plus two. Okay, well, the rain is up. We'll get some damage onto the Raichu. Um, which helps. Tox did very little in this match, but we still got a game to go after this. Okay, well the right two hangs on with, with its sash. With its sash. Um, Dragapult's definitely in danger of getting taken down this next turn, for sure. Um, I mean, Melotic's probably the best choice here. We're better off keeping Excadrill's sash intact. Especially because the Raichu's probably got Fake Out. Uh, now we could protect with Dragapult. I think it's probably the best option here because we don't want to... Hmm. I really want to try and get an Icy Wind off. That would help us massively because then I think we probably outspeed the Blastoise with Dragapult. So... Let's see if we can pull this off. I'm not worried too much about Melotic going down here. I don't think it will. Just Dragapult is it going to be able to. I mean, we do take that. What's the Raichu going for? Is it going for a Nuzzle? Well, there's a boost for a uh, good old Melotic. There we go. That competitive boost is going to help us out a bunch. Thunderbolt. Okay, well, we'll take this. Not ideal. We do get rid of the... Um, the problem is now that Didi comes back onto the field. Um, hmm. So really what we need to do is Phantom Force into the Blastoise and get rid of the Ndidi. Oh, that's a Venusaur. Huh. Ah. Okay. Um, right. Well, we will go for that Phantom Force into the Blastoise. Um, do we just do we just take the hit and lose Melotic here? I mean, we could try for another icy wind, uh, breaking a potential sash on the Venusaur. If we can get it off, I mean that's huge for us. But if not, then okay, that's perfect. That works out perfect, perfect, perfect. Please try and put our Dragapult to sleep. Sludge Bomb. Okay, do we take this? Nah, no chance. No chance! But Excadrill coming in. Now, uh, the only problem is, well, I guess we just Iron Head the Venusaur, hope we get a flinch. I'm just worried about the Venusaur now putting a, a Dragapult to sleep. Um... But yeah, Dragapult should definitely outspeed this Blastoise. Uh, so we'll go for the Iron Head into the Venusaur. The Icy Wind is what, like 100% what we needed. So we might be able to do this still. Gonna be very close. Gonna be very, very close. Like I say, if we can get the cheeky flinch here. I've heard if we clap our hands twice, then it does work. <laughs> we'll try it. I'm willing to give anything a go right now. Whoever thought we'd see like the start, a two starter Pokemon like this, Venusaur and Blastoise. If you'd asked me like three generations ago if you'd ever see Venusaur and Blastoise in competitive play, I would have been like, no, never, never. Okay, there's a Phantom Force. We do pick up the win, uh, the win. We pick up the knockout. But we need, we need this flinch. Come on. Don't get it. 
get it. How dare you? Okay, well. It, the, the Venusaur's definitely in Phantom Force range. The problem is, going for the Phantom Force now, uh, we need to Dragon Claw the Ndidi and Iron Head again. Because um, the Ndidi go down. Dragon Claw. Iron Head. Probably won't pick up the knockout. We should be alright, I think. The Psychic Soge. Um, yeah, I think we, we should be alright. Because either way, whatever the Venusaur takes, takes down, whatever we've got left should potentially pick up the knockout. Yeah, so. I think the worrying thing is that the indeed he protects here. Uh, the Venusaur puts a Dragapult to sleep. Hmm, that could get a bit tricky, but we're not going to see that, so. Dragapult doing Dragapult things. This is so good. Okay, I'm a bit sad that we haven't actually seen much of the Toxicity to the g Max, and then just went down. Okay, there we go. So, good game to my opponent. We managed to come out of it on the on the, the winning side, but um, yeah, we haven't quite managed to um, execute what we wanted to there. Um, okay, well, we got an attack off with Tox. I guess that counts, right? We get a Calcium. Awesome. I'm like Brock in Pokemon Sword and Shield at the minute, so these items are very handy for me right now. Man, what happened to our rating? I've, like, not played really at all since I recorded the last episode with the, um... What were we were playing? The Rosaweird Rosa team. We've got Waza up next playing, um... What looks a lot like uh, Fezzi's team that he played in Marmol. Uh, with the Gigantamax Lapras, the Alcremi, Incineroar Togekiss, Dusclops, and Conkeldur. So, I think it might be this team. Maybe. So, let's see. What can we do against this team? I feel like Toxicity has a decent time here. Uh, there's not really too much that like immediately threatens us. And we can do quite a bit of damage early on. Um, so let's go Tox. Do we want to go... Hmm, We could go Togekiss. Or we could go Incineroar. I feel like because we haven't got the parting shot on Incineroar, we're probably better with Togekiss. <laughs> Thing is, we don't want to lose Togekiss too early on. Because I kind of want to keep it for the Conk later in this match. So I'm going to lead Incineroar. So we've got, at least got the fake card to stop the Alchemy early on. Um, Dragapult Melotic. Melotic could be decent. Dragapult. Hmm. Let's go Melotic here. Okay. So, let's see how we can get on with this one. This feels like a good time for Toxicity. So let's see if we can do some stuff with it. For a change. Still got time. We'll make this in the 30 minutes. I promise you all. Right. Lapras, Alcremie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Do I just max ooze into the alchemy? Double into it. Or do I max stun shock? Just to get massive damage onto the Lapras before it gets its. Before it gets its shield up. Mm. What am I more concerned about? The Alchemy boosting is going to be a bit of a problem, for sure. But I don't know if the Max Ooze will get it. Let's go Stun Shock. We could get Paralysis. We could get um, Poison. So we'll do that. We'll go for the Fake Out into the Alchemy. And uh, we will outspeed the Lapras. So we should get some decent damage onto it before it gets its Aurora Veil up with its G-Max Resonance. Which will help us a bunch. It's 50% though of the time that you get Paralysis and Poison. So it's not every time, which 
It's a little bit, it's not the best G-Max move, but it can be quite potent if you do get it. Um, I was playing around with the, the Tox last night, a uh, completely different build, and I did get it pretty much most times that I used it, which was nice, because it really starts to put you ahead in, in the match. Um, and it was, a, it was a complete mixture between the paralysis and the poison. It would be nice if we just got like one or the other, to be honest. Um, and it was like guaranteed all the time, like the Pikachu one. But it may be then a little bit more broken. Here we go, at least we're going to get to see it. I mean, it's not doing massive damage, is it? But do we get... Well, we get the poison. And... And the paralysis. Okay, there we go. G Max Resonance coming out. Um, see what the damage is like here. Okay, well, I mean, we take that pretty well. Like, thing is, like, Lapras isn't ever really going to be the most powerful or hard hitting Pokemon ever. Um, I think we need to get Incineroar out of. Out, out of here right now. Uh, we'll go for the uh, Maxus, and um, I wish we had parting shot. <laughs> it would, it would be the thing to have right now. We'll go into Melotic. Uh, I s maybe suspect that we'll see um, a Max Geyser into Incineroar, but it's probably more likely going to be into our Tox. We could have Max Guarded here, but I think it's worth getting some damage off into the, the Alchemy while we can. We also get the, the special attack boost onto both Melotic and our Tox by doing this. So it's it's kind of beneficial doing it right now because there's not really much chance of the um, Melotic going down. Um, actually, thinking about it, the Paralysis is like actually way bigger than what I even thought it was because it stops the alchemy getting the um, the decorate off <laughs> before uh, the, the Lapras can attack which is pretty huge for us and um, now we'll be able to get maybe maybe can we get can we get the Lapras I don't know I don't know it's gonna be close we are plus one nah we're not gonna be getting the Lapras we'll get the alchemy though um we could max guard as well and then start attacking the next turn and just go for an icy wind or we could just go for muddy water uh i think let's just oh it's probably it's probably water absorbed so that's a little bit risky um okay let's go for max ooze. Oh, we've not done anything. We've not clicked in. We've just wasted our time. Okay. Well, I was going to max use there to try and get another boost onto the, the Melotic. Um, we might see a max guard. Well, we get the max guard off. What the heck is Melotic going to do? Recover, I think. So we're not. I don't think we're going to do anything here. Yeah. So it's a bit of a dead turn, which is fine. Um, we should get Lapras now, though. Because we got Overdrive. We are boosted up. So we should get the Lapras, not G-Maxed. So this works out a little bit better, even though we timed out that turn. This is why it's always worth having those Protect at the top, friends. Let's go the Overdrive. Um, let's go Muddy Water. At least we know the Lapras can't Protect here. We probably still will see a Trick Room come out from the Dusclops, I'd imagine. There's the other drive. This should take the Lapras down. I'm hoping it does. There we go. Okay. That's good. That's good. Uh, does it a, a little bit of chip to the those clops? We eventually get a throat spray. So that puts us on plus two. So if we can stick around this turn. Um... Why? <laughs> Why, Melotic? Why do you do this to us? That's why we should have used Coil that previous turn. And then that would have got rid of that, that issue. Uh, all right. I still want... Mm. What have they got left? They got the Alchemy. Bonk. 
it worth just... I'm going to switch Toxicity out, and I'm going to bring in Incineroar here. We'll probably take a fighting type attack there, but I'm going to go for a Coil at the same time. We've got the Rain up, and we are plus one with Melotic, so we do have that going for us. Um, at least the next turn we've got the Fake Out into the Conk. And I think... Oh. Ooh. Okay. There's a haze. And a punch. Uh, it's not what we want to be seeing. But we do proc our berry. Still not the end of the world. We've still got... We're still kind of a little bit out of sight from the... Um, the haze there is so strong. Let's go for the fake out, and we'll try. The problem is now we lose our accuracy boost, which is kind of what we were going for in the first place. Um, we'll see. There's the haze again. I guess trying to wipe out another coil, maybe? I don't know. Come on, let's just, like... Hit the dust clops. It's not really that hard to hit it. Come on, man. We do nothing to that conk, uh, especially without the boosts. We're not really doing too much at all. Okay. Um. Hmm. I think it's time for Togekiss to come in and do some stuff. I think we call a double switch, and we just use Tox as some fodder here. Like, we should be alright, but... Hmm. Okay. Nightshade. It's into the kiss. And there's a drain punch into kiss as well, doubling up into that slot, so that's fine. Um, now, it does give us the opportunity to actually follow me and just overdrive, which is maybe not a bad idea, um, just to get damage off. But the thing is, do we see the double up into... I think we see a Thunder Punch, you know. Really, I really do. We'll protect our kiss. Uh, and we'll bring in Incineroar. We've got a little bit of... We've got time to kind of maneuver around, stall this Trick Room out. The Dusclops is going to be the problem out of everything, really, isn't it? Um, but if we get Incineroar in here, at least we've got another Fake Out into the Conk. We can then Dazzle. And that should be the last turn of Trick Room then. And then maybe with Incineroar... Togekiss, we can Darkest Lariat, Dazzle, or Darkest Lariat, Air Slash, and pick up the knockout onto the, the Dust Clops. So the Conk on for the Detect. Okay. Probably see a Nightshade into Incineroar, I would imagine. Yeah, that's to try and get rid of that Toxicity. Yeah. So the Aurora Veil finally off the... Oh, hmm, hmm. Okay, let's just go Dazzling Gleam, and let's go Darkest Lariat into the Dusclops, and let's hope that that's enough. I don't really feel like it's going to be, but yeah, the con going to switch out, threatened by the fake out, um, Dazzling Gleam. Let's see, if we can land a crit here, that would be massive, it's not enough. Dusclops is just too fat. You know, if we landed a couple of, uh, those. Those muddy waters that we missed, both of them, we probably would have been able to take it down here. Right, Alcremy in. Um, we really need to protect a, a good old little toga kiss more than anything, I feel, you know. Let's go for another Darkus Lariat into the Dusclops and try and take it down. I think you double into the Togekiss, knowing it how threatening it can be to the to the Conk. Yeah, there's a pain split there and Dazzling Gleam. Inti will be able to eat this up pretty nicely. Okay. Still got the issue of the Conkledur to deal Conkledur to deal with, but it's 
it's getting a little easier. We, if we can get through this trick room, I think we're going to be potentially all right. Potentially. I think we have to pull a double switch this next turn, though. Because um, I feel like these two are the probably the most important components of the team. So we'll go into Tox, and then we'll go into Melotic as well. The decorate here is a little bit scary though. That's <laughs> that's the one thing. We're giving room to this alchemy to start decorating this uh, Concorde. And we really, we really don't want to be doing that. Let's go on Thunder Punch. Yeah. I mean, Iron Fist is always going to take us down. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's unclean. No, there's no decorating going on. I'm pretty sure decorate does give you the... Um, This gives you plus two, and it's like a weakness policy, right? It gives you an, an attack and special attack. Um, we could buy ourselves a little bit of time going recover here with with Melotic. Um, and we could just go for a muddy water. No, I'm going to go for a cover because there is a chance that we could see maybe a double protect here to get around this fake out. Okay. Oh no! There it is. <laughs> I'm surprised it took them so long to do it, to be honest. I would have probably done it the turn before. Oh no, this Conqueror there is very scary. Very scary. Um, I think we just double the Conk now and hope that our Muddy Water hits. Muddy Water is not going to be enough to take down the Conqueror there. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Okay, well we're going to get enough damage off onto the Conk, I think, with a Flare Blitz. I probably prefer it that way around. And there's a life orb. Let's see how much it Flare Blitz does. Alchemy paralyzed, so that's super, super useful. Is this going to be enough? No. Nowhere near enough. We needed the burn. Dimension turned back to normal now, so I think we're going to be alright because we can just dazzle, get the conk. Uh, it can mag punch Iron Sinro for sure, but then the Alchemy not really doing too much um, on top of that, so uh, we'll just Flare Blitz the conk and go for... No, we won't. We're going to Flare Blitz the Alchemy, and we're going to go Dazzle. And that should wrap it up. And Toxtricity did some work in this game, pulled through, and we hopefully, fingers crossed, got the win. So that is good. But like I say, yeah, there's the Detect. Trying to get a bit more damage off, I think, with this Alchemy, potentially before the Conk goes down. Um, I don't know what the Alchemy has, but this is why I wanted to... I did think the Conk might protect here. It's a last ditch effort to try and do something. Um, but you can see the paralysis that we got earlier on coming in so handy. It kind of shut the Alchemy down, stopped it really being able to be as effective as, as uh, my opponent kind of wanted it to be. Um, so we'll just dazzle and flare blitz and that should be the, the game. But we'll probably see Incinero go down to a Mac Punch here. I imagine one last ditch effort. No! No Mac Punch. And that is it. So, very good game to my opponent. Played it very well. Uh, we got all the things that we wanted from Toxtricity in this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. I am really chuffed because we got to actually see the Toxtricity in action. That is the main thing. So, we'll be back later in the week with this team. Maybe tweaking from the, the, the battles that we've had today. And uh, I'll have the rental team for you guys to try out later in the week. So, um... Take care of yourselves, especially with what's going on. I keep saying this, but make sure you are taking care of yourselves, staying out of harm's way, um, and looking after yourselves, staying active. And if uh, you've got any questions about the team, leave them down in the comment section below. Drop a like on the video if you do enjoy this sort of content. Make sure you do subscribe for this sort of content and more Pokemon content in general. And uh, I'll wrap it up there and uh, see you all for the next one. So until then, my friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.